Hello guys and welcome back. Welcome back to Don't Slow Hobbies and in today's video we are going to be talking about a subject that I actually really thought I was never going to talk about again. I am talking about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I did not like the way Season 6 went at all and it, it's funny because when I saw the trailers for Season 6 I was like wow this looks amazing I saw it and the story was everywhere it was not good at all in terms of what I've seen of the show before you know it, it's it's disappointing season 5 season 4 too but season 5 was such a roller coaster ride with fantastic story and these amazing characters and they really dropped the ball with season six, in my opinion. I had no, um, no reason to watch the show again. I was done with it. I did not want to see season seven. And then a lot has happened since then. And, I'm and hilariously, I have been trying to find things to do, and because I've been trying to find things to do during this whole lockdown situation, I've actually found tons of stuff to do, to the point where I actually don't have much time for anything else. But hilariously, I was sitting down to my morning breakfast, and my one of my favorite, uh, subs uh, my favorite channel, reaction channels that I'm subscribed to, uh, my name is Simon actually did a reaction to season 7 episode 1 and I thought huh that's a thing I forgot that's a thing and then I thought you know what I don't have to make a video of it I want to see how bad it actually is for myself let me just sit down and watch it and I'm sorry that I ever was disappearing in the show. I'm sorry that this review stored out like that, but that was my reaction to season six. I watched episode season seven, episode one, and this will be my review of it. It's not gonna be very long. Fact is, I was actually generally surprised at how well the show was. Um, I still think that them bringing back Coulson was a mistake, especially the way they brought him back at the end of season six. He's now a robot, and I don't know if I really like that. You know what? I, I'm kind of tired of this trope. Let's bring back someone from the dead. And yes, I know that was the whole cool thing about Coulson, but they've done it so much and they've run it down uh, to a very dry spot for me. I was not really looking forward from season six that he was a robot. And then I watched this episode and I'm still kind of on the fence about it. I, I don't like the fact that they brought back Coulson from the dead again. You know, I thought it would be really, really cool if Coulson was from another timeline, another universe, another uh, timeline in the MCU, you know? Because we're going to get that basically with um, what happened in uh, Endgame, and yeah, that, that was just fantastic. What happened there, I, I thought we were going to go into that territory with Season 6. And instead, we get just this weird alien that it made no sense when I was watching it. I did not like it. In fact, we didn't really have, have much of any of the characters. I really li liked uh, Simmons and Fitz. That those were the only two characters. If it wasn't for those two, I would have not have even been able to get through season six because it was that bad. Um, and I found the fact that Fitz isn't hiding again because he's the mastermind behind all of this. It, it, I just find that interesting. And him and Gemma are separated again. That that's a 
that always happens. And I'm pretty sure by the end of the show, it's they're going to be back together again, and it's going to be great. I really like Simmons in this episode. Is Simmons a robot? Uh, that I don't know yet. Now, what will be interesting is I don't think they're going to go this route, but maybe she's a robot just like, um, uh, j just like Coulson. Not sure about that. But that would be really weird and really interesting and really tragic. But then again, how many tragic things have happened to these characters and have separated them? They've been separated through time and space and still get together. So her being a robot, I don't really think will do very much on separating them again. So I don't know. Just spitballing ideas. Spitballing ideas. Okay, so, oh right, and then you have Mac and Yo-Yo. You know, Fitz and Simmons are my favorite ship in the show. You know, I'm not one for shipping in shows. You know, it's always kind of fun to have a little bit of romance in shows, you know? It makes a good story. But uh, if I had to pick a, another shipping that I really liked from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., it would be Yo-Yo and Mac. And... I did not like the trope that they did in season 6, I thought it was pointless, giving Yo-Yo another love interest just to make Mac a little jealous, but oh no, Mac, Mac is the one who pulled it off, because Mac is the one in charge and he can't have a relationship. I didn't like that storyline at all, I thought it was pathetic, I thought it was stupid. And I'm glad we aren't going down that route again. I don't want to go down that rabbit hole. I uh, think Mac and Yo-Yo, the shipping there. Um, I, I hope we get more of that this season. I really enjoyed those characters. And her having some actual arms. That's interesting. They're like robotic arms, but they're super advanced so she can actually feel stuff that... That was interesting. I, I did like that part of the episode. You know, speaking of shippings, uh, we, we got Coulson back, and I know he's a f robot. But how about Mai? You know? I know. Mai is dead. Let's bring her back. Wait, we bring Coulson back a hundred times. Why not bring Mai back? De death has no irrelevancy in the show anymore, after all. So... Why not just bring Mai back from the dead? I actually really miss the character of Mai in this episode when I was watching it. Just just my thoughts. Let, let's bring back Mai from the dead. <sighs> Boy, again, I'm still really salty about Coulson. And while I thought um, the actor is great and what, what they did with this character in the show uh, uh, was actually fun to see... When I actually just forgot about the connective story here and just watched the episode for itself, I had such a great time with these characters I love. It's only when I actually look back at the story and what these characters have gone through that I find holes in it where I'm like, yeah, you shouldn't have brought Coulson back. But I enjoyed Coulson in this episode, I really, really did. It's just one of those things, you know, one of those things. But if I forget about what has come before it, I actually really did like this episode. With that said, let's go ahead and get into the biggest part of this episode. Why I really enjoyed it, why it pulled me back in, why I am even making this video. Because I wasn't going to make this video until I saw this big twist at the end. That just surprised me so much and made me so excited to actually watch the show again. And without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about what that is. So, Enoch's kind. And yes, Enoch is back in the show as well. I, I actually liked him last season. I didn't think much of the character. Um, it, it was fun uh, because of the connection between him and Fix. I like Enoch. He's a... He's not my favorite character, but he's not the worst. But what was hilarious was the fact that his people want to rule 
Earth. And the reason why they want to rule the Earth is obviously because their planet got pretty much destroyed. So, they want to rule Earth. They went back in time. And of course, we followed them back in time. And why do they want to go back in time? What is their big plan to take over the planet? Well, their plan is simply this. They want to stop the creation of S.H.I.E.L.D. And when I heard that, I kind of thought to myself, alright, how could they stop the creation of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I thought, okay, so the creation of S.H.I.E.L.D. really started with, uh, uh, I believe her name was Peggy, and she was, of course, the love interest um, for Captain America in the Captain America movie. She was the one who went on to create um, S.H.I.E.L.D., right? So are we going to tie ourselves into Captain America here? Are we going to see a little bit of, uh, of the stripes around here? Are we going to see Peggy create Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. after Captain America has been frozen in time? Um, I, I thought that would be interesting, but what they did instead actually I have to admit, interested me even more because I never really thought about it, but it's just an interesting twist. So the only reason why why Shield was created was to fight off Hydra, to fight off the Red Skull and Hydra. No Hydra. I guess you would still have World War II. But no Hydra. No Captain America, possibly. And no, I mean it. No shield. So what they have to do is they actually have to save Hydra. And the guy who made Hy Hydra his name is Frey, I, I can't remember his, it's like Malik something, Frey Malik or something like that. He, he's the guy who created Hydra, and it, you know, it was interesting how he got his start. He, he's just a bartender most of the time, and, and he becomes fr uh, friends with our main crew a little bit, and then he gets his calling at the end. All he has to do is transport some of these chemicals to uh, the docks, and that's how he'll get his start in this whole behind-the-scenes bad guy stuff, and then eventually he'll become, uh, you know, the mastermind behind uh, Hydra before the Red Skull shows up. I thought that was fantastic how they're doing this, and that's what the robots are after. That's what, I, I don't care what the aliens are actually called, they're robots. That's what Enoch's people are after. They're going to kill Malak to stop Hydra so S.H.I.E.L.D. is never created. And this is interesting because now we'll find out, because I never understood, I, I thought Skull, the Red Skull, just made this uh, uh, faction during World War II with, of course, Hitler and the rest of them. But we are going to find out the real creation, the, the storyline behind how Hydra is created. And it's going to be because of our S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, our S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, saving their butts from time travel aliens. Okay, I know. Story. You have to watch the story to get it. But I just thought that was really interesting, and that has pulled me all the way back in into watching the show. Let me know. What are your thoughts about us possibly gaining an origin story for Hydra in this season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Now, I've heard rumors about a season 8. Rumors, like... They're not even... No no one's really picking the, this up. I don't think they're true at all. Um, and, I mean, 
season five ended the show so well. Season six was a huge bust. I don't know if they could end the show correctly anymore. But I am interested in seeing what this whole thing with season seven is going to be. And could it possibly lead into a season eight? I guess they could if they expanded the story, but still they have a lot of episodes. And I don't believe this storyline with Hydra could go more than one at, at one season. But that's just me. Let me know your thoughts about a possible season eight down in the comments below. I, that's a rumor that I don't think is going to come true. But that is just me. I really enjoyed the show. I really enjoyed the premise that they're coming up with for the season. With that said, that's it. I'm out. Bye. I don't think I'm going to do episode after episode review. I'll probably watch a couple episodes and then do a review. But let me know if you guys would like an episode after episode review for uh, this season because I can do it. I really have enjoyed this first episode at least. Thank you guys for watching. I am out. Bye. I, I don't think I'm going to do episode after episode review, but I definitely will review this season.